All right, guys. It is a fine Sunday morning here in the end times. Fine Sunday morning. What have we made it to? Have we made it to Sunday, August 13th, 2023, where we have survived the collapse of global industrial civilization. I see the global industrial civilization has returned to Bugs in a Jar Farm. Unbelievable. I thought it might have been it. Uh, I guess there was possibly a small tornado that touched down about five miles from here yesterday. So, uh, anyway, I am still... Uh, <clears throat> taking it easy is actually going on noon i am getting out of bed uh, having my planet saving cup of coffee and good god what an adventure i have been on the past few days days i i'm not even going to bore you with the details but uh i guess this is the I'm, I'm going to call it the uh, revenge of the mask Nazis having the last laugh on uh, <laughs> on, on Hamba and Little Tail. Good God. Uh, what a what a goddamn mask. Uh, <coughs> would have done for me in my life. And I had three of them. I had three masks. You know, including the one with the uh, flag-draped sheep. Oh. Uh, but uh, I am suddenly a firm believer in masks when uh, pulling up moldy carpets. But, uh... It's safe to say, I, I, you know, you're supposed to never say never, but uh, I'm going to get as close as I can to saying I'm never going to pull up a moldy carpet with or without a mask ever again as long as I live. Uh, I think the one-time lesson uh, at age 63 was all I need. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> but anyway, this too shall pass like the rest of them. And uh, I don't know, with everything on my mind, actually uh, quite, a, quite a humorous tale that uh sandy and i could share with you i'm sure but uh I anyway it's really here nor there so i will save that humorous tale what i've been going through this morning here at bugs in a jar farm on uh on on many levels but uh the main thing that's been on my mind the past couple of days, and I can't imagine why. You know, guys, it's just how full of shit people are. Just how fucking full of shit people are. Uh, and, and when I say people, I do consider myself a person. I, I am not, I'm not excluding myself. I, I, I am pretty sure, right, right at this moment, there is one man, he's probably listening to this rant who might say, uh, hey, man, you might be a little bit full of shit yourself. Uh, I am not excusing myself from the human attribute of, of being full of shit, but <coughs> it's just unbelievable. This, this everywhere you turn, everybody meet, I don't care if they're doomers or not. I'm just talking about it, 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 this, this, and I'm not exactly talking about blind spots. I'm not exactly talking about denial. I'm not exactly talking about, the, you know, that rant I had about, you know, Mr. Nowhere Man making all his nowhere plans for nobody. I, I'm just talking about how full of shit 
uh, all of us are. Now, of course, some people are more full of shit than, than others. I, I, I have uh, en encountered a level of four grown men be, be, being so full of shit. Uh, I, I, I don't know how they walk across the room. Uh, I, I'm waiting for these four grown men who have never set foot in, uh, you know, up in Seahorse that uh, they rented. You know, these guys rented <coughs> Seahorse. Uh, you know, it's the, you know, the, the place up in the Pine Grove. They're paid up till tomorrow. Uh, for four nights, and they have never shown up. Uh, they are five minutes from here, uh, and to, but as of right now, they have not asked for me to refund one penny of their money, and I just can't wait for them to suggest that I owe these fuckers one penny. Uh, if anything, uh, I should be sending them uh, a, an additional bill just for putting up with their shit. Their, their unadulterated horse shit coming out of their fucking mouths. And it, it's, it's just, uh, the, 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 this character, uh, he is just... Uh, and, and, and then just kind of, that, that's just spread out like a ripple effect from, from meeting this uh, full of shit dude that uh, you know, as, as I'm looking at, 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 at other people in his and my periphery uh we we have you know these six degrees of separation this dude who i had never heard of till uh a few weeks ago and a and a friend of mine uh so who he is is kind of like a friend of a friend it, it was so it was my friend who uh, who wanted me to rent seahorse out to this guy so, you know, we get right back to, uh, to every, what is it, no good deed goes unpunished. You know, I, I should have told my buddy at the very beginning when, uh, you know, he uh, was asking me to cut his friend some slack uh, and save him some money not having to go through the usual uh, vacation rental platform. So, you know, he's trying to do a favor for his friend by asking another favor to do a favor for his friend. So it starts out three, well, I never met the guy, nice guys, uh, did, you know, just kind of, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine. Just, just th three guys doing each other favors. And, and, and here we are, and what it's, what it's going to happen is, is this motherfucker, uh, this full of shit motherfucker, he's going to come over here uh, acting like uh, he wants his money back. And I, I honestly don't know how I'm going to respond. If he, I'd say, to his credit, he hasn't at this point. And hopefully, he's a big of a chicken shit spineless coward as he is full of shit. And uh, he will uh, not show up. I have sent him a message. Hey, motherfucker, if you have one word... To say to me after all I've done for you, you, fu you fucking dirt bag. After all I've done for you, I have I have done, I have done more for this man 
than any other vacation rental client in, in, in my entire life. I have gone so far above and beyond any call of duty I had to, the, to this full of shit motherfucker. Unbelievable uh, a, a, a how much uh, time and effort and, and work I've put in to uh, satisfying this whiny little bitch. Uh, every little need and uh, but he's just got me so now what this is going to do is say uh, you, you know put some black cloud uh, over my friendship with, with, with the guy that I was doing a favor for by doing a favor for his friend that is just going to be a, a black cloud uh, hanging over our friendship now uh, because <clears throat> I guarantee you that my buddy, my neighbor uh, down the street uh, is, it, it has heard something uh, 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 or, or he will uh, within the next few days. So anyway, we will see how this plays out. But it's, it's just really gotten me to thinking uh, how, how full of shit everybody is. Every one of us. Uh. And, um, and, it's, and it's just the, and, and good God, I am certainly the king of this. It, it, it's just the inability I mean, look at Donald Trump. It is the inability for humans just to keep their fucking mouth shut. Do not make promises you do not intend to keep. Do not make plans with people you uh, do not intend to keep. As I say, I'm sure someone listening to this would say, yep, Hambone, uh, maybe you want to listen to yourself. Uh, one thing I have learned in, 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 uh, out of one of these episodes, and, and, I, and, and I think the, my, my, uh, my buddy who's probably listening to this will agree to me. Okay, if... If you're meeting someone for the first time, you know, you're trying to arrange a first time meeting and it's the year 2023, uh, you need to have with that person more than one contact information. It, it's, it, it, I can't believe how many times I've let this happen where I, I usually have the person's email address, but I don't have their phone number. You do not make, and, 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 and I'm, I'm hoping that I've learned a lesson of this, you do not make plans with somebody, especially any plan more than 24 hours ahead of time and certainly weeks ahead of time without giving the person you're making plans with a, uh, an alternate form of contact, meaning a telephone number. When you suggest a plan with somebody, send them your telephone number and it can avoid an unimaginable uh, a, a, a amount of drama and, uh, and it, it's really not that hard to uh, say here is my email address here is my telephone number if you need to reach me right there is a great secret uh. But that, but that's not, um, that, 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 but that's not really the realm of what I'm talking about. That's just common sense. Well, it's a cousin of 
a, a, a lot of the reason that humans, including myself, that we are so full of shit is because we don't, well, there, there's not the, the inability to keep our mouth shut and just our, just our unbelievable lack of, uh, of common sense, like, like, like me and this fucking carpet up there in, uh, up there in Blue Dragon. You, you know, uh, I, I deserve everything I'm getting for being so blatantly stupid. Uh, it's common sense, but the thing, the, the, the whole term common sense doesn't make any sense. It, common sense is one of the most uncommon things on the planet. And, and, it, and it's getting rarer and it's getting more and more uncommon. Uh, it's common fucking sense, people. Our, our inability... To, to fucking recognize common sense, <clears throat> and, I, and and I'm not even talking at levels of nuance and discernment and critical thinking. I'm not even talking about those three levels. I'm talking about fucking common sense. <clears throat> I'm talking about fucking popping off at your mouth, uh, talking all of this shit. Uh, about all of your big fucking plans and, and blah blah blah, <clears throat> and, and then uh, and, and, you know, with no intention of ever uh, of ever following through, and then if you do crap out, uh, then asking the person uh, that you made plans with to uh, to bail you out. Got no fucking use for, for for fucking humans. You know, I, I, I'm getting more sick and tired of them every fucking day. Getting sick and tired of my fucking self. Getting sick and fucking tired of everyone I know. Yeah, the person, the woman staying here and. Uh, in Hummingbird, uh, where I'm sitting at, and I, I, <clears throat> I was actually going to tell her uh, when the next time I see her and thank her. She uh, she's been here for like five days, and she has been the most pleasant and understanding, non-complaining. Uh, vacation rental guest I have ever had. Uh, she she understands things. You, 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 she she asks simple questions. Uh, she, you give her a simple answer. She she seems to understand English. Uh, if, if you know, we had no power here yesterday. Uh, no power. So we have no power. We have no water. Uh, we have no water. We, you can't take a bath. You can't flush the damn toilet. She, she went and jumped to the creek. <laughs> she bathed in the creek. And uh, she said, uh, if I need to take a shit, I'll just take a bucket down to the creek and, and throw it in the toilet. What's the big fucking deal? <sighs> anyway, our power and water have been restored today. <sighs> I need to mow this fucking grass. I'm 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 gonna give myself one assignment at I'm going to wait till 6 o'clock, uh, rest for six more hours, and uh, get behind my self-propelled, save-the-planet electric mower 
and try to mow a little bit of this damn yard while I still can. So I highly suggest you do the same and do as I say, not as I do. Just all of us, you know, before you pop off about some plans or whatever, uh, just really, uh, it's really make an effort to, uh, you know, to follow through uh, with your damn plans. Just show up. You know, just getting people to show up. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going to finish my planet-saving cup of organic coffee on this beautiful day. I guess I should go uh, check the mainstream media, see how many crispy critters have been pulled out of the wreckage in the paradise of Maui. Uh, bye, guys.